Good afternoon, Fiji, and welcome to Gold FM Speak Your Mind. And it is an important day, the first Tuesday of the month of November. Why so important? Because it's time to make us some money. And, uh, well, it's Melbourne Cup Day, and it's the race that stops the nation. Well, at least that's for Australia. Does it ring true for Fiji? Well, here to answer that question, or to see just how much it does cost Fiji, I'm uh, glad to be joined by the General Manager of Grants Bitting Limited, Mr. Vijendra Sundar. Welcome to the show. And good afternoon to you, Pedali, and good afternoon to all the viewers at the moment. Well, thank you again for making the time. It is a really busy day, as you can imagine. Melbourne Cup Day is your busiest day. Am I correct? Yes, it's, it's one of the big, biggest races in the Southern Hemisphere. And uh, now it creates the interest in the uh, Northern Hemisphere horses coming to join Southern Hemisphere to win the prize, uh, big prize money, you know. You know so it is, a, it is a very big race. Well, with Grants Betting Limited, you guys have been following, with horse racing especially, and been with this race, Melbourne Cup, for so many years. Now, what has the interest like, just you know, overall, for Fiji, how has it grown? Okay, <clears throat> when we say uh, the Melbourne Cup, the race that stops a nation, but now it is, we can say, the race that stops the world. It can. It yes. can say that. <laughs> because the, all over the world, the horses come and race in uh, Melbourne Cup. So everybody is just keen to watch that race. Here in Fiji, uh, lot of, there's a lot of interest. A lot of people, they are just uh, looking forward to come and have a fun on a day, mm-hmm. on the Melbourne Cup day. Mm-hmm. They just want to have a small bet and just uh, go and watch the race. Well, for many of the horse owners overseas, this has got to be the biggest prize money that can be earned at a horse race, but also the most prestigious. It is a very prestigious uh, cup, Melbourne Cup, and the prize money is 6.2 million. And it's, it's a big prize money for the horse owners and the trainers. So it is really a big race. Considering the amount of money that they also put in to um, uh, well training these horses and also just developing the jockeys and having a great jockey um, uh, ride the horse, it's, it's, it's an expensive sport. It is very expensive sport because the jockeys are very highly paid and uh, the horses, they buy it very expensive and they have to compete in the, uh, all the races before they qualify for the Melbourne Cup race. Mm-hmm. So it is a very expensive sport, yes. Now, looking at it from the perspective of Grants Betting uh, Limited, how has the interest and the sort of b- bits that Fiji has put into Melbourne Cup? Well, uh, uh, taking 10, 15 years back, there was not much uh, advertising on the Melbourne Cup. I think the media has played a lot of vital role in this uh, uh, Melbourne Cup or any event for that matter. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the media is the main player in any, any country or any organization or anything. Well, when when we say media, it's uh, print media, the v, the te- right. TV and the radio and social media. Yeah, and social media, that's right. Yeah. Mm. So this is where the people they come to for the awareness, and this is how it just spreads. You know. Yeah. You know, before um, uh, they used to be with uh, those who were better. I know that with from experience, my uncles, my grand uncles, um, used to just work with luck or what a little knowledge that they know. But now with like you said, yes. the widespread social media, the different avenues that they can find information about these horses. It's amazing. It is amazing because, see, some people, they, they know about the horses, father, mother, half-brother, <laughs> half-sister, you, you name it. I've been working for there for so long, but I still don't know who is the father or the mother. But some people, they just know everything about the horses. And they come and make these bets based and on this that's information. That's right. They come and they bet and they, they win too, you know. <laughs> uh. All right. So what kind of bets are we looking at? So looking at um, the horses that are being run today, now, what are the uh, odds? Well, uh, f- first of all, may just may let me run through the types of bets, uh-huh. you know. That's right. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, because a lot of people, they are ringing us. Uh, I'm still confused. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know the tri uh, what, what, what? What is that? So I'll allow you to. Okay. So, uh, for, for instance, you, you know, if you want to bet a uh, win single, uh-huh. so you, you are betting on a host to win only. Right. You want to bet for place, that means the horse must come first, second, or third. Yeah. That's place bet. If you are betting for uh, Kunela, uh-huh. Kunela is first and second, or second and first. That's Kunela. Ah. So your horse must come first, or second. first and second, uh-huh. or second and first. And first. Okay, okay. And exactile, exactile comes from the word exact, you know. Okay. So it, uh, exactile means exact. It must come first and second in correct order. Aha. Uh-huh. 
So even the orders matter. Yes, yes, how it is matter. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, in the trifecta, trifecta is first, second, and third in correct order. You know. Okay. And, and the first four is first, second, third, and fourth in correct order. So these are the, some of the bets you can go and place. But before you place your bet, you must know what you're doing. In, or what you're trying to bet, you know. <laughs> and I'll just turn <laughs> up and then just say, I want to put this much money on. Well, well some people, they, they don't know how to bet, but they bring the money. Uh-huh. But they just want to bet. Uh, I think it's better just to have a bit of... Uh, a little bit of knowledge. A little bit of knowledge before you come to bet. Uh, are the the officers that are being... Well, I see a lot of um, grants betting uh, limited officers and their little... Um, uh, uh, outlets for the day. Outlets yeah, for the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all over the the city. Uh, how many outlet? Well, how many different temporary outlets do you have? At this well, time? I'll run through it very quickly, uh, Fizeli. Uh, we we got fifteen uh, branches all together around the country, uh-huh. and with the, just a temporary outlet for a day only, for just to give people a chance to go and place bets yeah. on the Melbourne Cup. We got in Central Division. We got uh, Dolphins, which is uh-huh. not far from you, which is where I'm going next. <laughs> <laughs> Vanu Arcade, Garden City, MHCC. Uh, MH Super Fresh, MH Vivarus Plaza, MH Premium, Bowling Club, Defence Club, The Pearl that's in uh, Pacific Harbour, Harbour, Yacht Club, United Club, Nasori Club, Governor's Cafe that's in uh, Nolly Street, yep. Turek Cafe, Kundan Singh Uprising in Dumba, uh Tapu City and RB Patel Centre Point. In Western Division, you can go to Lotoka Club, Northern Club, Hard Rock Cafe, Smugglers, Sofitel, Golf and Record, Bounty Restaurant, Warwick Fiji, The Fijian, Bulacino, Outrigger, Denrau Yacht Club. These are the outlets for the day uh, you can go and bet on the I cup. And in Northern Division, uh, that's in uh, Baba Singer Pharmacy, that's just opposite the post office. Okay. The Lambasa post office, it's not far from the bus stand and uh, Very market. central. Very, Very central. central, yeah. Okay, so, so these are the outlets you can go and bet. All right, so there you go. That's where you can go and place your money. Now, I also wanted to know, okay, say for instance, this is for us who don't quite know too much. Say I have two, $20 in my hand, and I'd like to place a bet with the odds that are on right now. You, do you have the present odds? Yes, yeah? I got present odds. Okay, yeah. I would like to bet on number 15 with my $20. How much money do if it wins if horse number fifteen, which I believe is preferment? Yes. If it wins, how much do I get? Well, it's, it's a good question, you know. And most of the people they're asking me this question. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd do it before anyone else does. <laughs> but uh, see, the, the the dividends will be coming after the race. Okay. So after the race, that's only time we will know how much it's paying. Uh huh. So that's the time, only time we'll know. How much the payout will be? So you can't really give an accurate estimate. No, I can't. So there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you again for making the time to join us and explain a little bit of the rules. And uh, well, good luck to everyone that's making bets today. Yes, thank you, uh, Pedeli, for your time, giving me time, and thank you, the viewers. And I hope you, before you go and bet, you got some some information from us. And uh, make sure don't bet too much, you know. Just have for fun only. That's right. It's supposed to be for fun. Yes. For some, it's just a little bit more. (laughs) Well, thank you very much for making the time. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we'll have more on, uh, well, the uh, Melbourne Cup right here on Gold FM. But right after this short break, we'll be talking about the Corona Uprising Music Festival. Welcome back to Gold FM Speak Your Mind. And as promised, well, we've jumped from horses from the Melbourne Cup race, and now we're into our music, as we love. And annually, this is fast becoming one of the biggest music festivals in Fiji. And I'm talking about the Corona Extra Uprising Festival of Music, Dance, and Lights. And it happens once every year, right about this time. And I've been, well, grateful that I've been, uh, well, I wasn't here for the last one. But I was grateful to be in for the last two of the previous two. And joining us, uh, well, this afternoon is Darlene Underwood. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Fideli. Now, the um, uh, festival itself, what was the idea at its inception? What was, what was behind the push to have this music festival? Well, it, we first started, uh, the idea came up in 2009, where we had our very first uh, music festival. And to cut a long story short, the outcome was fantastic, and in terms of um, content and 
um, attendees, mm-hmm. and we have we've not never looked back. It's oh. just grown over the years. This is our seventh one. Seventh one. Yes. Now it um, involves a lot of the local um, uh, musicians, but teaming up also with uh, overseas artists. Now, how did you? How did that? I mean, how did you get the pull from the overseas artists? Surprisingly, Pavelli, um we did have open a Facebook page, I think, two years ago. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm, I've also been surprised how they've gotten my email contact. As producer of the show, um, they've just been emailing me directly. And um, when I asked them about how they found out about the event, um, it's mostly on social oh, media. Social media. Yes, and there's some online publications uh, through Tourism Fiji. Um, we appear uh-huh. on those publications, uh-huh. yes. Now, with with the uh, involvement as so far as Gold FM in supporting this event, uh, response from our listeners has been phenomenal. The love going out for the weekend, or at least that's a particular Saturday, and it's happening this Saturday, the um, 2nd of, um, excuse me, not the 2nd, the 7th of November. And this particular, it's one whole day of music, and it goes, stretches right onto the evening. Is that correct? Yes, it's, we, we call it a, uh 12 or 13 hour music marathon. 13 hour music yes. marathon. Non stop Pedeli, back to back. It's called the Festival of Music, Dance, and Life. <laughs> we also incorporate um, dance routines of the That's Pacific. Right. Yeah. And the lights concept is because it's Diwali month, that's where the lights, lights come, come in. in. Yes. I also love the fact that you also have those some of the families that come in and spend the whole day. And then ease into the night. I love that. And continued with all this, you know, it's in within the safe confines of the Uprising uh, uh, Beach Resort. And, and I love the fact that it's safe enough for the families. Now, how has that been for Fiji families, Tony? Well, we, from inception, we've always um, wanted to involve the families. There's a special segment uh, from 12 to about 3.30. Mm-hmm. Um, by con- kind sponsorship of Kundan Singh, they give every child a 12 years and under a meal, mm-hmm. a soft drink, and a little goodie bag. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's fun activities like bouncy castles. And so we also involve the families uh, to make it, to give it a carnival effect mm-hmm. for them. Yeah. What about the big kids? Do they get like goodie bags too? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No. <laughs> no goodie bags for the kids. But we'll see with the goodie bags. It's all in the music, right? It's all within the music. So whom are the acts to look out for for this year? Okay, well, of course, we've got the lovely Nikki Colombo. Who will be joining us on the show very yes. soon, too. She is um, a professional entertainer, from the go- originally from the Gold Coast. Um, Nick is here holidaying with her mum, uh, who has bought some property on at Wandroka. She also has her son, who's uh, had stage management um, experience, so he's helping me to do stage manage- management this year. Um, well, Nikki's also- right here. We may as well just introduce Nikki. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon to you, Nikki. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, very well, thank you very much. You look really well into the spirit of it all. I love the get-up. Oh, thank you, darling. I didn't get a chance to do my hair, so I popped my hat on. <laughs> Because I went out on Saturday night and I met your first lady. Just like that? Just like that, at yeah. the Pearl. I at met the Pearl. At, the, at the, uh, the, the opening of the Pearl, yes. So, so you've been here for a week so far? I've been here for a couple of months. Okay. I'm okay. um, having a rest after my hectic lifestyle in Australia. <laughs> and I wanted to spend a lot of time with my mum because I had missed her so much. And uh, I just, just coming over here, I just love... The atmosphere and the people and the climate and the food and oh my god, I just oh, hello, I'm being paradise. <laughs> Who would not want to be in paradise? <laughs> well, we'll get to hear a lot more about that very shortly too, and also your music and what we ought to be looking forward to. But besides Nikki, I'm uh, Darlene. Anyone else that we should be also looking out for within the list of acts? Well, um, with some sadness, I'd like to announce that Chelsea Stewart, who was um, the Canadian artist. Mm-hmm. Uh, who was coming down, um, her mom, uh, Karen, who is also her manager, uh, lost her mom, so Chelsea's grandmother. Oh. Just um, on the back of the completion of the London tour, she was about to make bookings to travel down south 
Oh, very uh, sad. For the Fiji Air, yeah, so. the Fiji um, uh, segment, and um, they won't be coming now. Oh, well, our thoughts and prayers with this to a family. And uh, also, who um, uh, so now that they're not coming, uh, who else are the international acts are we to expect? Um, there's j Hold. j Hold has been um, performing for the last four years, mm -hmm. and this would be his fifth year. j Hold also has ties to Fiji. Mm -hmm. um, he was actually born here, but he's Australian. Um, there's also some new acts, um, Inside Out. Inside Out. Yeah, yep. uh, this one to eight. Uh -huh. um, we've also just uh, had some um, not so good news that uh, Makare have pulled out at the last minute. Oh dear! <laughs> I know. Yeah, and well, you know. They, well, we they still have a, a host of other artists that will be. Fantastic bands are coming on. And you did say there'll be a lot of dancing, so you know that's something else to look forward to. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Jay Hood is an, another interesting um, artist who's also been featured on this show because he's, apart from, well, his music also involves playing the didgeridoo. That's right. And has always a popular act at the um, Uprising Festival of Music, Light and Sound. Well, we'll uh, talk more about this coming up right here on Gold FM Speak Your Mind. And we'll also be talking to Nikki Colombo and uh, her interesting team that's with her. More of that right here on Gold FM Speak Your Mind. Welcome back to Gold FM, Speak Your Mind. And, uh, well, we're talking, uh, well, the Corona Extra um, uh, Uprising Festival of Music, Dance and Light. And this happening this Saturday, the 7th of November, at the Uprising Beach Resort in Pacific Harbor. And being joined by Nikki Colombo, who's uh, a featured artist. Is this your first time at the music festival? Yes, it is. Have you ever performed at anything similar to Not this? Not for a long time. We oh. were just mentioning that in the car on the way here, actually. Yeah, so, all right, let's hear a little bit about, um, well, you and your performances. Uh, how, how, how long have you been performing? Uh, since I, I was about 15, I started out as a dancer doing ballet, uh -huh. and my mother would come to all these cold halls and sit there for hours while I danced. And then I decided I had uh, a very good singing voice at about 15 or 16. I love how she says she and, decided. And, I, and I, I discovered, I should say, I discovered, and, uh, and I started to sing. And she said, all this money I've spent time doing dancing and you want to become a singer. <laughs> <laughs> We're so, going to be hearing from mum real soon too. <laughs> so from there, I said, okay, I want to leave school. I want to be a singer and dancer. And they said to me, no, you're not leaving school until you have something to fall back on. So I started hairdressing. From there, I, did the Steph I worked for Stefan and he had a television show at the end of the year. So I ended up singing on his television show and then the hair What was the television was, show called? It was called the Stefan Hair Fashion Awards. Okay. And then that, um, after I got a, uh, I was addicted to that. So I decided, um, that's it, I'm becoming a singer full time. So from there I went to Melbourne and I tried to get a record deal, but that was very difficult. Uh, I did a lot of work down there, um, had an absolute blast and got tired of the fast lifestyle and came back mm -hmm. to the Gold Coast. And I've been doing a lot of corporate work jingles, all that sort of stuff since then. Okay. And that's kept you busy all this time? Absolutely, yes. Yeah? Yes. So it's been some time since you performed uh, live music like this? I've, I have perform live all the time, okay. but I just haven't done such a large, large crowd for large crowd. quite a while. Okay. Well, so I'm thoroughly looking forward to it. What type of music are you into? I do a lot of uh, funk, soul, acid jazz, a bit of jazz, a tiny bit of rock, um, but I'd, I'd say funk and soul. Like James Brown, like Hello. Okay. Would that be <laughs> what, would, would that be your uh, music um, inspiration, sort of, or inspired? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. What were you like when you were six years old? I'll get to ask your mother that after this, but what were you like at six? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I, I know I was dancing around a lot. Okay. And she bought me a ballet suit, so I was dancing around a lot. Uh, I was very animated. So I've heard, this is her actually talking, um, I was very animated, but for me, I was more inquisitive as very a child, inquisitive, inquisitive and I, I was not shy. <laughs> really, you don't say? <laughs> <laughs> well, what type of music do you remember, like, that influenced you, got oh, you disco. into? Disco, like Chaka Khan, Donna Summer, um, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, um, I, I would see all those movies back from then, you know, like uh, Saturday Night Fever and um, all, all that kind of stuff. Flashdance, I, I did. 
I just did a huge corporate event in Australia doing singing flash dance <laughs> for the Sa Versace Hotel with about 3,000 people there, yeah. So that was a big, huge event. Um, so, yeah, I'd have to say, yeah, the, the funk, the soul, the R&B, yeah. What was blood. that? What was that like uh, in, with with your family? The type of music that you play is are you is your family musical? Absolutely, yes. Very yes. yes. Okay. My daughter sings, um, and my mother used to be a singer as well, um, and my son is into the creative arts as well. So we do all come from a very highly creative family. Okay. Well, then I guess that it was just you know it, it, this was bound to happen. It was. It was Absolutely. bound to happen. It yeah. was bound to happen. I actually came over here intending to do some charity work because I, I love to, to, I'm a passionate animal lover mm -hmm. and I would love to raise some money for the SPCA mm -hmm. and I've done a couple of events for the uh, Cancer Society at the Pearl as well in uh, 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 Pacific Harbour. So, and that's how I met your first lady. And I've also met Ben Rama as well. <laughs> yes. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> I need a t-shirt now. And don't you know who I am? That, that's going to be your tag. Well, it's become that's our standard that's funny joke in the family. Like, like, if something happens, we also like, don't you know who I am? <laughs> It's going to be really interesting meeting the rest of your family very soon too. But I'm just going to jump back to how did you run into Darlene? <laughs> Darlene is my angel that floated down one day because she knows my mother and we are both hairdressers <laughs> and we're both in creative arts and events and it was just a natural synchronicity and she is amazing. She wears so many hats and... What can I say? <laughs> I worship you. <laughs> now, she's an angel that has just helped me with getting to know the Fiji customs, uh -huh. all that kind of stuff, on where to go, that kind of thing. And that has been an invaluable source to help me and guide me through, you know, my stay here, which has just made it so more fluidic and, and really, really um, a lot easier, happier time here. It's just absolutely fantastic. Love it. What are we to expect from you this Saturday? Oh, boy. You guys are going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be starting uh, something a little soft and then it's going to explode into a, a rock song and then I'm going to be doing all funk and soul like Chaka Khan, um, that kind of stuff. A bit, bit of Michael Jackson, Love Never Felt hey. So Good. I'm also doing Bruno Mars, um, Uptown Funk. That will be the final show and I will be, it'll be choreographed and I'll be dancing as well. So that will be the last song. You know, so it's only natural that you should continue to listen to Gold FM. Because Absolutely. this is the sort of music that we're on. Absolutely. And I'm going to be bragging to all my friends about this. Are you kidding? <laughs> As she should. <laughs> <laughs> but again, like, okay, so you won. what is it that you wish to take back from this Saturday? Like, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to giving that beautiful feeling of happiness and joy and bliss and love to the crowd. Because then what that does is that they give it back to me. And then it becomes like this circuit where it just goes round and round and round and you create that beautiful uplifting feeling mm -hmm. where it, I'll be on later at night about probably about 9.30 but be, because everyone will be getting ready for that during the day, they'll have the more cruisier stuff and then the more impact stuff will come up later on. That is what I'm, that, that split second <coughs> feeling that you get when you're on stage <coughs> and you are Excuse just me. absolutely blitzing it and the audience feels it for you, they're the highlights of my life. Well, we definitely are looking forward to that. And, of course, more of Nikki Colombo right after this short break on Gold of Him Speak Your Mind. Well, welcome back to Gold FM Speak Your Mind. And, uh, well, this is definitely um, uh, an interesting show that it's turning out to be because uh, we're joined by, well, the wonderful... Um, uh, Nikki Colombo, who's um, well here to talk a little bit more about her performance at the Corona Uprising well Festival of Music, Dance and Lights. And as uh, amply um, well uh, explained by Darlene Underwood earlier on, lights me since it's November and uh, well Diwali's just around the corner. 
that's what we're also looking forward to. So I'm going to ask Nikki, have you ever experienced Diwali before? No, but I've heard all about it and I can't wait to dress up for it as well. Well, that's the thing. So you're going to have all these experiences. Oh. Just, is it a wonderful time to be in Fiji? Well, I've heard they like a lot of bling here, so I'm going to fit <laughs> right in. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're also joined by your manager. I'm just going to ask her to introduce herself because this is going to be a surprise. Well... Good, good afternoon, manager of Nikki Colombo. How hard is it to manage her? Um, it's been difficult. Uh, good morning, Gold FM, of course. It's been difficult, but it's been so rewarding in the end. It's been a long journey and a very interesting one, so I'm very happy about that. And uh, Nikki's just grown and become such a better person and a performer since day one, so I'm very happy about that. And I think she failed to mention that all the people here in Fiji and plus New Zealand, that she was working with the famous John Rolls for quite some time. Oh. And that is an absolute milestone because that was a great, they were great years that we were doing the Gold Coast with John Rolls, who I know is very well, very popular here. Yes, and we do play his music also on Gold FM. Thank you very much. Yes. And you failed to mention that. <laughs> Well, I've just got so much to talk about. I couldn't squeeze it all in. I opened up all his shows, yes. I opened up his shows at the or the casino in on the Gold Coast. When was this? Oh, this has got to be about <clears throat> 10 years ago. Okay, it's okay. We can <laughs> Ages, it's all about you know, gold. Musicians can't count. One, two, that's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 that's what you need to do. <laughs> so for how long did you do this for? Uh, about five years. I wow. opened up his shows uh, all over Australia and a little bit of the islands as well. And we went to, went to all the major casinos. I warmed up the crowd for him. Now, how cool is that? That's pretty cool. That was, and I also sang Cheryl Morano Marie, and I also had to learn a Hawaiian wedding song and sing that in Hawaiian with him on stage <laughs> once. I was like, oh my God. He said, sing this phonetically. I thought I had to go, go on Google. What's phonetically? <laughs> <laughs> now, you're perhaps the one that knows, um, uh, well, well, knows her the most. And of all these years, what has she been like? I asked her about what she was like at six. Was her description pretty accurate? Yes, she was uh, an absolute goer. There was no shyness there. But coming from me, I didn't expect anything less. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mother, by the way, Carol Colombo. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, she's been a great support, but she's grown spiritually also, which is wonderful. And she is one hell of an entertainer. It just got better and better. And her dance routines are dynamic uh, as we saw last Saturday night at the Pearl which was for the Cancer Association. So hang on, hang on. So we're going to have her sing and she's also dancing. Oh yes. Oh yes. 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 Live. No lip syncing here baby. <laughs> this is, is going to be an amazing part of the show. Oh it is. And all you need now is just the right lighting. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the, the value of all of this is that we have had a chance to meet some wonderful Fijian musicians here, you have got some fantastic talent here, oh, really yes. fantastic. And through Darlene uh, getting this organisation together, I hope it keeps going and going because she is really the glue that sticks everything together. And it, without her, I don't think it would be quite successful. And I'm happy for that because it's a great experience to get involved with all the Fijian workers here in the music industry and they have been fantastic. I'm very impressed, very impressed. Now, you mentioned the musicians, so would you, what, uh, which musicians have you Knox, uh, 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 Tika Toka. Robert Tika, Vern. T so yeah, Talia and Nem. Yes. My absolute Talia. adorable. We love you know, Talia. We love Talia. <laughs> yeah. She's a ma magic, but unfortunately Talia is working somewhere else this weekend. But um, just watching them come on stage and perform and do what they do, mm -hmm. I, I just love them. I think they're Maxi. exceptional. Worked with Maxi, Maxi at uh, the, uh, the the yacht club uh -huh. at the G4 mm. a couple of months ago. That's right, yes. Yeah. Howie, Howie Schultz. Uh, Howie Schultz, yeah. He's Which from Australia, but born, born, born in here. Fiji. Born, yeah. Born. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's been a, it's a pretty good lot of talent here. I'm very impressed. Would you, would you love to make a record here in Fiji? Absolutely. Yeah, is that something that perhaps you will be Absolutely. working on? Absolutely, yeah. yes. So yes. this is only. So this is this not. This is not your first time here in Fiji, is it? I forgot to ask. This is that. my second time in Fiji. Your second time. Yeah. And already you've 
gotten in and now you're going to be featured at one of our biggest music festivals. I know. Isn't it amazing how things just work out like that? <laughs> and she has a wonderful guitarist, Mr. Robert. He's, he's fantastic. Beautiful man. So he will be backing Nikki also. Oh, we're yeah. definitely looking forward to that this yes, Saturday. Yes, me yeah. too. And uh, what would you say has been, well, have there been any, um, I'd say, just obstacles perhaps or something a little bit like, you know, any... any in this family, no way. <laughs> we climb mountains. And if we can't climb them, we go through them. <laughs> I was, I'm, you know, there's a lot of love that we can feel You've for You've left him speechless, yeah? Look at him. <laughs> you know, you know, I, I love this. It's, it's, uh, you're, you're, I love the energy. The energy is great. Mm. The support, obviously, has been great for you. Yes. And you, and you say that to a lot of music, uh, music has been around in the family. Oh. Yeah. She mentioned that you were a singer also. I used to sing in a nightclub in Honolulu. I lived there for seven years. Wow. And I just happened to be working there, and uh, this wonderful French lady who was the performer and the owner asked me to go to her television show and do a song one day. Of course, I just about melted in fear. But it was a great stepping stone for me because I learned something. So from then on in her nightclub, I had a feature role of singing a song. And that's how I learned. Was it Carol Colombo at that time or Carol? Uh, what was it? No, it was Carol. <coughs> and uh, <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> no royalties, please. No royalties. <laughs> so oh. I, that's exactly how I started. And I didn't pass it on to Nikki because she has slid past me like at a thousand miles an hour but i still like to do it occasionally and i do it at private parties for fun oh it has been <laughs> you know this is what we look for we look for in, in terms of as an interviewer you know this is the kind of stuff that you, this is endless <laughs> this is, but i'm running out of time so we have to get into a short break here but gold fm speak your mind will definitely continue more with the colombo stars Welcome back to Gold FM, Speak Your Mind, and we continue, as promised, with, uh, well, now, the Colombo stars. And, uh, well, Nikki Colombo, still with us in the old studio, we're talking because she will be featured at this Saturday's uh, Uprising, Corona Extra Uprising Music and Dance and Light Festival. And we're definitely looking forward to your performance. Now, you're also, you've got your mom as your manager. Yes. And your son. Cody, Cody who's also my techie. Your techie. Yes. And joining us now, Cody. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Is this your first time in Fiji? My third. Your third. So you've done it more than your mom. Yeah, um, well, because my grandmother lives here, I come over here every once a year to help her out when she's and keep her company and all okay. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Now, tell us, you love Fiji, right? Yeah, yeah, I love it, yeah. <laughs> and what is it like working with your mother? Uh, well, being on the uh, stage manager, I actually get to tell her what to do. That's a bit of spark. Mm. Yes, that's a bit of spark. Yep. Does she listen? No. <laughs> I do so. <laughs> so what is it? What, what's what's your role as a turkey like? Um, it's for me. It's it's cool because like I'm not into the whole limelight like Mum is, so I just get to hang out backstage. <laughs> And I just, uh, yeah, just help out all the uh, other artists and, you know, uh, tell other people what to do and et cetera, yeah. Now, your family is very musical mm -hmm. and you grew up obviously with your mum uh, as a singer and performer. What was it like? <laughs> Entertaining, to say the least. <laughs> it wasn't a dull moment. Um, yeah, me and my sister would like uh, just get home and like mum would go out to her gigs and she always bring back like a goodie or two. Uh -huh. She used to work, uh, get a gig at um, uh, Movie World at the Gold Coast. Really? Yeah, yeah, in the big uh, Batman kind of theatre thing. She brought home like about 50 giant lollipops. This is when we were like six and we just went nuts over them. But obviously that would be the most amazing thing mm -hmm. about your mum's job. Yep. <laughs> Never mind everything else, just uh, coming back with those giant lollipops. Giant lollipops, yep. <laughs> yeah. I would definitely remember that. Mm -hmm. fact, and the balloons. And the balloons. <laughs> Yep. What, 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 what's a childhood like without those giant balloons? Yep. <laughs> so with that, well, did you feel pressured into getting into music or was it just natural for you? Well, no, mum's mum being an entertainer and an artist, she's very like, you know, kind of just do your own thing. So I eventually moved into it anyway <laughs> because um, at the moment I work um, making album covers okay. for a uh, music producer back home in Australia on the uh, Sunshine Coast. 
So, yeah, my sister studies uh, audio engineering down at Byron Bay as well. Wow. So we're both in music. She's just a singer as well. Eventually, yeah. It's <laughs> amazing. She's 18 and she's a knockout. Yeah. yeah she's just starting. All right. Well, yeah. is she going to be, uh, is, it, is this something that we think we're going to be seeing soon too in the next music festival perhaps? I would love to get her over here and we do the mother and daughter duet. Have you done it before? Stage a couple of times. Yeah. But she's younger. Yeah. Um, but she's busy with her boyfriend at the moment. <laughs> Right. She's 18. Like, hello. Yes, they, they actually um, did a, uh, performed on um, X Factor back home in Australia. Both oh, yeah. yeah. They did. Yeah. yeah. Was well, she featured on X Factor? We both they went were. We both were. Yeah. We, set, we, all, we auditioned separately, and then uh, the producers got us together, and yeah, we went on the, on the X Factor together. Yeah. Mm. What year was this? Oh, it's got to be about four or five years ago. She was only 14 at the time. Yeah, okay, yeah. we definitely have to try and YouTube that too. So she had a little <laughs> bit of nerves at that time. So, and you know, we didn't get through as usual. It was very tough to get in, uh, to get through They had, that they had scary Spice as one of the judges. So. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That was true. Yeah, yeah that's definitely... so, um, so now she's going, she's going into university at Byron Bay. She's studying music down there. So yeah, that's going to be fantastic for her because she's, it's, I mean, like, hello. I mean, all she has to do is just... Do that, and then she can work, you know, forever in the creative field. Well, yeah. you know, this is amazing stories that you're sharing with us, and uh, thank you again for doing that and for coming on the show, oh, you're welcome. making the time to come on the show. And uh, we've also got a couple of tickets, all right, right here with me. Voila. And all you need to do is Nikki and the Colombo family have come from a place in Australia called the Sunshine Coast. Gold Coast. Gold Coast. The Gold Coast. Gold Coast. Now, you've got to tell us. Which state is that in? Very easy. Get your dibs on this. Yeah? Very easy to get your hands on these tickets. Just tell us which state in Australia that is the Gold Coast. Yeah? So uh, any clues that you... What would be the best thing about the Gold Coast? The weather, the beach. That sounds activities. like Fiji. It's like tourist centric. It, it is it's like a... It's very similar to it's Fiji. It's a bit like Florida. Kind of a bit like, like Florida. Like Australian Florida. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Very touristy. <laughs> with yeah. uh, a bit more kind of Asian food influence, kind of that kind of thing, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. With a few theme parks and that kind of thing. Yeah. A few, a few. A few. <laughs> <laughs> a few. Maybe World Dream World, Sea World, Wet yeah. Wet Wild. Wet Wild, yeah. What Water World. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Little, well, oh, and uh, here in Fiji, how long are you going to be here in Fiji for? I'm here until uh, December. Until December. So yeah. we'll still get to see, Fiji will still be able to see. Absolutely. Nikki Colombo featured somewhere. Yes, don't you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> I need a t-shirt. <laughs> this, get to see Nikki Colombo live at the, uh, well, Corona Extra uh, Uprising Festival of Music, Dance and Light this Saturday. Get your tickets. They're only $25 and uh, there are packages. Okay, there are packages. All you need to do is inquire with the, um, uh, well, the Uprising Resort for these packages this weekend and make sure. This is entertainment galore. And of course... Who wouldn't want to miss Nikki Colombo and the family? <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for joining us on the show. Thank, thank you very you much, so much. And I uh, wish Pleasure. you all the very best for Saturday. Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Great. Bring the kids along. Lord help us. <laughs> 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 and thank you again for joining us on the show this uh, afternoon. It's definitely a real free-spirited one, and that's what you're going to expect at the Uprising uh, Music Festival of Dance and Light this Saturday. All right. Until next week. Thank you again for joining us on Gold of Him Speak Your Mind.